This video will help you with basic troubleshooting of an LG distribution box at Marriott Properties that is specifically related to Worldview World Cinema system. So first thing we want to make sure that all your cables are properly connected, that there is no uh, HDMI cable or coax cable that is unplugged. So here you see all cables are connected, our LAN cable, our coax cable, power cable. HDMI out is uh, connected to HDMI in, which is HDMI one. And it's very important for it to be connected to HDMI one since it uh, the box is programmed to work with HDMI one. Since all the cables are connected correctly, I will go to the menu and see if the box is registered with the TV. If there is communication, a TV sees the box as a registered device. So what do I do in order to get there? I'm gonna use an LG remote. Any, it doesn't have to look like this. Any LG remote will work. It doesn't have to be world cinema remote, LG remote. You click on settings and you will see and it does, it's not gonna look exactly like this. Maybe different LG model is gonna look a little different. Menu is gonna be here, it's gonna be here. But what you're looking for, you're looking for a lock sign like this one. And then in my, my case, I click on it. I go and click close. And this is the menu I'm looking at. And, I see, and you can see that the lock is highlighted here. And then I click on it. I leave it highlighted and I click one multiple times until I see the host diagnostics menu. And here we can see that host, host information, it's the model of this particular TV. It does not see the box. There is something connected, the reading information, TV, but we do not see the box. We want to see the box model right here. We do not see it. So I have another box right here. I'm gonna try connecting it and see if it's going to work. So now we have a new box connected and we can see that the uh, host diagnostics and host information, you can see the STD box that we need to use. I went through the same steps to get to this menu. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna click zero. It says reset STD, I click yes. The next step, turn on the TV. And once you turn on the TV, you'll see your options to select resolution. I choose 1080. So the next step that you will see, again, the loading screen, and then it will ask you to confirm the resolution that you have selected. You click yes. You go and say next. Here you select zones and room number. I am currently in room 1106. I select this room, click enter, save. So next it starts searching automatically for channels, starts setting up, but what you want to do, you want to go to manual pro centric. You click okay. You go to, so you set your pro centric mode to HTML media type to IP, and then you would have to know your server IP address. In my particular case, it's 172.18.0.1. So here we have two properties, two Marsha codes under the same roof, and those two codes are that one of them is Fairfield, the other one is uh, Spring Hill. Spring Hill is one, and uh, IP address that ends with one, and Fairfield ends with two. So since we are on Spring Hill right now, we select one. Uh, next will be the port. You select port eighty, and click enter, and search for the. IP server, it says IP server found. If you encounter the problem where you're not able to find the server on your original in your original room, you go to another room with a working TV where everything is set up. You disconnect the box from there 
connect the box that you are trying to set up, continue the setup process. But once you find the server, you go through the same steps, it will set up the box, and once it's ready, you just come back, plug it back in, and it works. So this is what you should see. Uh, I would Boy, suggest- Boy, make it easy. Um, I would suggest going over some channels, see if everything is properly aligned, all your channels, channel uh, on your guideline, you would go to channel guide and just see if your uh, ESPN is actually showing ESPN and then some other channel. And I would click through some other channels to see if, how it's gonna work. Um, your internet TV, check for your Netflix. So this is your basic step-by-step -step, uh, guide how to troubleshoot the box, how to troubleshoot the TV, and how to set up the box and what kind of issues you might, you might encounter. Uh, well, I hope it helps. Thank you.